Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about price to book ratio, understanding of price to book ratio, advantages and disadvantages of price to book ratio. According to Warren Buffett, much success can be attributed to inactivity. Most investors cannot resist the temptation to constantly buy and sell. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is price to book ratio? Price to book ratio, PB ratio, is calculated by dividing the company's stock price per share by its book value per share. Investors use several metrics to determine whether investing in that particular stock will match up with their investment objectives or not. One of such metrics is this price to book ratio, which is also known as price equity ratio. The PB ratio draws a relationship between the market capitalization of an organization and the value of the assets it possess. Companies use this ratio to compare firm's market capitalization to its book value. Understanding this ratio involves understanding the two main parts of the ratio that is the meaning of market value and the book value. Market value refers to the company's market capitalization. It is calculated by multiplying the current share price with the shares outstanding. The book value refers to the amount the shareholders would receive if the company is liquidated or shut down immediately and pay off all its liabilities. The book value is calculated by subtracting the company's total liabilities from its total assets. This value is present in the company's balance sheet. But the company's intangible assets such as patents, copyrights, goodwill, brand recognition, etc. are not included in the balance sheet. The formula to calculate the PB ratio is equal to market price per share divided by book value per share. For example, company XYZ has listed 12,50,000 worth of assets and rupees 10 lakh as its liabilities in the balance sheet. The book value of the company can be calculated as 12,50,000 minus 10 lakh which is equal to 2,50,000. If there are 10,000 outstanding shares of the company, then the book value per share is 2,50,000 divided by 10,000 which is rupees 25. If the market price of the stock is rupees 25, then the PB ratio is 1. Value investors typically use the PB ratio among the other metrics to determine whether the company's stock price are overvalued or undervalued. Value investing involves the investors looking out for the company's stock that trade below their intrinsic value. So the PB ratio plays a very important and critical role in this. A low PB ratio could indicate the stock is undervalued. However, it could also mean that there is something foundationally wrong in the company. This ratio, as most ratios, varies by the industry. It indicates whether the investor is paying more than what would remain if the company suddenly went bankrupt. Understanding of PB Ratio The typical market value of a company is higher than its book value and therefore it results in the ratio higher than 1. The converse also holds true. This phenomenon has two ways of interpreting. The first one is that the company is suffering financial duress. The other is that the market considers it an overstated asset value. In the first case, the value investors can bet that it can realize a turnaround with change in its business conditions. But if the second case is true and all the probabilities indicate a future decline in the asset, it comes forth as a negative projection. Typically, value investors consider having the PE ratio below 1 to be an indicator of an undervalued stock, but PB ratio of 3 is widely regarded 
as a standard for undervalued stocks. The investors look for the undervalued stock in the presumption that in future the market value of the stock will raise and they can sell their shares at a profit. To know more about PE ratio, please watch our video on PE ratio. Link for this is available in the description. As mentioned before, the standard for the good PB value varies across industries. For example, a PB ratio below 1 could be an indicative of an undervalued stock in the IT industry. In contrast, it would be regarded as negative for oil and gas industry. What are the advantages of PB ratio? Book value is a cumulative amount that is usually positive even when the PE multiple is negative because of the negative earnings. So it means that PB can be used when PE cannot be used. Book value is more stable than EPS. So it may be more useful than PE when EPS is volatile. For market firm assets, PB is more useful than the PE multiple. Sometimes PB is useful in valuing the companies that are expected to go bankrupt or out of business. To know more about EPS, please watch our video on EPS. Link for this is available in the description as well. Disadvantages of PB ratio Well, the value of intangibles are not captured in the assets such as brand value, goodwill, the human capital, of service companies, etc. PB ratio is misleading when there are significant differences in the production methods of the assets among the firms. Inflation and technological change can cause the book and market value of the assets to differ significantly. So the book value is not an accurate measure of value for shareholders' investments. The book value considers only the original purchase price of the asset such as equipment and not the current market price. This could reduce the accuracy of the value. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.